everybody. I'm Larry Ridley. Welcome to Mad 18 on EA Sports. Anticipation is bouncing for today's game, and we've got two quarterbacks looking to make an impact. It's Cutler's Dolphins going up against Flacco's Ravens. For the call, let's send you out to the broadcast booth, where we'll join our commentators, Brandon Guyton and Charles Davis. Larry, thanks. CA Sports coverage of the NFL brings us to the Inner Harbor at M&T Bank Stadium in Baltimore, Maryland. Here's a scene a short time ago. The Ravens introduced to this sellout crowd and through a sea of pyrotechnics, out they came from the tunnel. We're set to go as the Ravens get ready to match up with the Miami Dolphins. And hi again, everybody. Alongside my partner, Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gauden. And Charles, when you and I were going through our final run-throughs at breakfast, we kept thinking tonight we're going to get to see a couple of very good passing offenses. And we're talking about both sides having multiple receivers that can have an impact on this game. It's not just one guy that's going to make all the plays. If you take him away, maybe number two, number three, they make the big plays that impact who wins the game. The children will grow, and it's the final weekend of summer, but we've got the NFL, and we're underway on EA Sports. This is taken about seven yards deep, and they'll put up the stop sign there as his guys will get it at the 25. So here come the Ravens now, ready to get the football for the first time. The MVP of Super Bowl 47 leading his crew out there from Delaware. It's Joe Flacco. And what a career it's been for Joe Flacco. Began his college career at Pitt before transferring to Delaware. And boys, he carried it over into the NFL. 4,300 yards passing in 2016, a career high. fake here on first down and the Dolphins rush gets home down he goes Jordan Phillips with a great push up front he picks up the sack and a loss of eight sometimes I watch games and wonder why they use play fakes on certain passing situations because it's not gonna fool anyone I don't know if that was the case here but the end result was the same no one fooled the quarterback was hit Second down, and they will not get the connection there. It's incomplete. And here now, the Baltimore offense. This organization's identity for years has been its defense, but if you take a closer look at the offense in 2016, better than you might think. 17th overall, 12th in passing. They're looking to take the next step now to becoming a top 10 offense in the NFL. I don't think this is the script they had in mind for their opening drive. This is third and long. Fake to Allen. Here's Flacco. He's got his man. That's Wallace. A good pick up there. 26 yards. He's such a good route runner. Shows it there on third down. Very proficient and a good pass. And you know what I've observed over the years in the NFL? The better a route runner you are, the more confidence your guy's going to have in you to go to you in important times because he can trust you being in the right spot. And they connected there and picked up a first down. So after that big gain, let's see what else the offense has up its sleeve. Carry here for Terrence West. And he'll take this one across the 45 up to about the 46-yard line. A gain of three, second down. 
And let's run through the Dolphins' defense. In 2016, Miami was 29th overall in total defense. Not a number that's going to excite them or one that they can hang their hat on. But what redeemed them last year was their third down defense. Fourth best in the NFL. And as we all know, that's the down that you really point to and target. Get off the field on third down. See if they stay on the ground for second down. From the gun, Flacco going up top. It's caught inside the 25. And all the way in for a Ravens touchdown. Rashad Perriman, 54 yards. And the Ravens have taken the early lead. Well, that's how they envisioned to get the football to start the game and score. And I don't know if that was scripted. Was it an audible? Or was it just a play call that they had in their pocket? No matter what, they had the right call on against the right defense, and they end up in the end zone. Justin Tucker for the extra point. And the Ravens lead at 7-0. plays there on that drive and it's capped off with a Ravens touchdown Here's Tucker now out to kick this one away. Now to return it, here's Kenyon Drake. And a nice return sets him up pretty good here at the 30-yard line. So here come the Dolphins now as they get set to take over on offense. They'll be led out by the all-time leading passer in Vanderbilt history. The veteran quarterback, it's Jay Cutler. 11 previous seasons in the NFL, just one playoff appearance despite a right arm that is the envy of all quarterbacks in the league. I think this is an opportunity for him to rewrite his legacy. One more go in the NFL, and maybe people look at him in a different light. What would you say to scare him out of the booth and back onto the field? That's what I want to know. I just told him it was a lot easier playing quarterback than being a broadcaster. <laughs> for some reason, he bought it. <laughs> Now it's the Boise State alum, Jay Ajayi. And tough going there as he'll only get it up to about the 31. Credit him with a one-yard gain there to make it second and nine. Well, if the coaching staff's doing a good job upstairs, they'll file away what they just saw from the defense right there. They sold out to stop that running play. I'd say keep that in mind. They want to try that again. Go play action. Hit them over the top. Now, prior to the snap, we hit all zeros as time has run out on the first quarter of play. 7-0 is our score. We're back to Baltimore after this. The NFL on EA Sports is presented by Snickers. You're not you when you're hungry. Snickers satisfies. Back now with Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gordon. Second quarter begins with the Dolphins in possession of the football. They've got a second and nine to start things out. Shot him there. It's out of bounds, incomplete. Jarvis Landry, the intended receiver, and now it's third down. I know our vantage point might be a little bit better way up here, but that looked like an ill-advised throw to me. I didn't see anything open, and this play just didn't look right from the beginning. It did not. I thought he might get outside and just chuck it away. Dangerous pass, incomplete. All right, here we go. Three, 19. Three, 19. On 
third down. Cutler. Got a man open. That's Devontae Parker complete. And now the Raven defense going to call a timeout. It's just their first, so they'll have two remaining here before we get to halftime. The defense, they got a little bit of a breather. Now they're back and set as we resume play. The Dolphins will send out the punter now. Back deep for the Ravens, Michael Campanero. And a great job here. This is going to turn out to be a beauty. This is marked down at about the three-yard line. Now the Baltimore offense heading back out onto the field. And certainly they'll be hoping to hit pay dirt like they did on the last drive. Got the football back, so a chance to go up two scores. And they haven't been tentative at all in this ball game because sometimes you start a game with your script to try and get information out of the opposing defense. How will they play you in certain situations? Sometimes you script to attack, and that's what I'm seeing so far. Very tough spot here for the offense to start. They start on the ground with West. And a short gain here as he gets it up only to about the six. Three yards on the pickup there, and it'll be second down. And that's frustrating for a defense because they've got them pinned down deep. And on the first play, they give up a run that keeps an offense on schedule. Yeah, because three to four yards, that's all you're looking for right there, right? That's absolutely perfect, really, as a play call. You get three to four yards on first down. That's what they talk about to us all the time, about being ahead of the chains or on target, ahead of... In trouble, and the ball's out. It's in the end zone, loose. And this will be scooped up in the end zone. A defender gets there, and it's a touchdown. That's something you have to be wary of on your side of the field, that close to the goal line. The defense, they are looking for that football. They got it, they scored it. You are so right, and the quarterback has to speed things up himself. So close to the goal line, they're going to get after you. Make sure you get rid of the football and in a safe place. Cody Parkey is on now for the point after. It's good, and we're all tied at seven apiece. So not only the cough up, but then the pick up on the other side, the scoop, and the score the other way, the fumble return for a touchdown. So a tie ball game here as the kick's away. The return man, Chris Moore. And he's up across the 25 and down at the 28-yard line. The Ravens offense now, they get set and head back onto the field. And they've got to be still reeling from the events of a moment ago. What a turn on that last play. You knock it on the door. You're about to take it in. You think you're going to get some points on the board. Instead, you cough it up and watch them take it the rest of the way to the opposite end zone. That's a two-score swing that you just gave up. Yeah. 
First and ten, and Flacco looking to throw. He's got it to West on the dump off. And now we won't see a play on first down. We're going to get a timeout instead. As the clock stops here with 46 seconds remaining in the first half. So we're back in the offense getting set following the call of that timeout. Now the offense lining up first and ten. Flacco from the gun. And his throw is going to be incomplete. The one thing that I've liked defensively is that they've shown him a lot of different looks here in the first half. They've come after him. They've sat back. I think that's what you need to do to keep an offense guessing. And they certainly have kept them on their toes. That's why they haven't had much success on the scoreboard. So the incomplete pass brings up second down. to pass Flacco he hits West underneath and he'll be brought down right at the 45 yard line it's a gain of five and that's going to bring up a third down Flacco fakes the give sets to throw powers through he's going to launch this thing way downfield and he can't hang on to it nearly picked he's known for his hands defensively but instead it just brings up fourth down Fans do love the long ball, don't they? And he already found his guy once. Tried to give him another chance there, didn't he? Yeah, he did. Couldn't connect. But as you alluded to, he does have that touchdown from earlier trying to keep him in the rhythm. So on fourth down, here's Sam Cook to punt it away. Jakeem Grant back deep for Miami. He gets us away. It's a good one. Drawing toward the sidelines. And no return possible here as they angle this one out of bounds. Out comes the Miami offensive unit now. They get set to take over. And with time quickly fading here in the second quarter, not sure how aggressively, offensively, they want to play this. I think we'll find out just how much they trust their guys in this situation if they decide to take a shot. Start out on the ground with a J. And he is going to lose yardage here. A loss of a full three yards, and now it's second down. Yeah, that was a safety that came through and made the play, but there's no doubt in my mind, he hits like a linebacker. And we see a lot of that in today's NFL, don't we? And that time, we do indeed a big hit for a loss. So we've hit halftime in what was obviously a very fast-moving first half of play as we send you down to our EA Sports Studios in Orlando where we find our man Larry Ridley with our halftime report. Thanks, guys. We'll get back to you soon for the second half of this tied ball game. But first, let's look back now at this first half of play. Both the Ravens and the Dolphins haven't had a reliable run game so far. The push-up front has not been there, and you have to give credit to both defenses on that front. All right, let's get it going. Let's roll those first half highlights. First and 10, Phillips got the sack here. This will go for a loss of eight. Later on the drive, Boss is wide open, able to make the grab. And it'll eventually be brought down, but not before getting to their own 43-yard line. Continuing on the drive, here a throw deep down the field is caught. And he'll take this all the way for a touchdown. Okay, thank you, Larry. A low-scoring affair all even as we ready for this second half.
So both teams have their marching orders, and we'll get going again here in quarter number three. That'll be taken in the end zone. And he'll elect not to return this one, so they'll bring it out to the 25 on the touchback. Out comes the Dolphins now. They'll go on offense first here in this third quarter. They have a chance to break our tie here as we get a look at the first drive of quarter three. And it's such a tone setter, isn't it? Because both sides trying to seize momentum to begin the half. What do they have dialed up that'll give them an advantage to move the ball downfield? Let's find out what they have dialed up. This one up to the 26. Just a yard on the pickup there, and it'll bring up a second and nine. I'd say they've got to find a way to get him going. He's such a big part of their offense. I wonder if they might throw it a little and come back to the run. Anything, because you're right. He's pretty much been completely neutralized. Second down following the run. Let's go. No, 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 no. Check. Play action. It's Cutler. It's incomplete. Took a shot, couldn't connect. Kenny Stills, the intended receiver, and that'll make it third down. Well, they haven't had a whole lot of success in the passing game here. Now, in the second half, he's thinking, I guess maybe just take a shot deep. I think you're right. Almost looking for a bailout, isn't he? Can my receiver go up and make a big play for me? Can I create a penalty downfield, maybe pick up an interference call and get that yardage downfield? Anything trying to get going again, but you're right. He definitely took a shot. Looking for Landry, and it's intercepted. Picked off by the longtime charger, Eric Weddle. First possession of the third quarter, an interception, so maybe a second-half tone setter. Indeed, and not the tone they wanted to set. That's the equivalent of running out the wrong door and running into your pool instead of running out onto the field. A real dud for that one. Has that happened to you before? No, but I've heard stories about teams actually doing that back in the good old days. Now we take a glance at the offense as they work their way back out for their first possession of the second half. They were forced to punt last time, and I doubt sincerely that they'll have to punt here because they're gifted with terrific field position. I don't even want to think about the idea that they would end up punting starting with this type of field position. Neither do they. Great starting spot, great opportunity to run your full playbook. They want to take a shot here, they can go ahead and do it. And a great spot to start this drive from here. Here's West. And he's eaten up at the line of scrimmage. Might have gotten a yard down to the 16. Well, they're hoping that the second half is better for him than the first half. They've got to find a way to get him going. He's a big part of their offense. And after the play on the ground, that brings up second down here. Operating out of the gun, Flacco. And he's got his tight end, Watson. Touchdown, Baltimore. Benjamin Watson, a 16-yard touchdown. And the Ravens have taken the lead. Yeah, he is a reliable target. They like to get him involved. They got him involved there for the score. And they should. He's a very good player. Remember, they can use him in certain positions, so many different spots, and he usually comes through for them. Tucker now for the extra point. He's got it. It's now a 14-7 ball game. Well, that drive started with not a whole lot of real estate in front of them. In plus territory, excellent field position. Two plays later, pay dirt.
Here's Tucker now out to kick this one away. This is taken about seven yards deep. And no thought to bring this one out. He'll just go down to a knee, and they'll take over at the 25. The Dolphins offense now ready to go back out onto the field. And following the interception, just any interception, are you a little bit more cautious when you start that next drive, or no, you just throw that out the window? I think you are. I don't think that there's any way you can run back out there and go, ah, totally didn't affect me. Let's just go ahead and be loose with the football again. You're going to take care of it, but you have to be careful about being too cautious because now you can't run any offense mm -hmm. at all. Still want to attack. We'll see how they attack them here. Here's a handoff to Ajayi to begin the drive. And he will lose yardage and be backed up to the 24. It's a loss of a yard there, and now second down. So statistically, both of these offenses have a rough time getting a running game going. But boy, what a nice play there defensively. Tackling him behind the line, but you're right. You look at the numbers. Neither side looks on track in the ground game. A little bit of ground to make up for the offense as they face a second and 11. Out of the gun, it's Cutler. He'll air it out deep for Thomas. And this one taken in on the right sideline, but not in the field of play. They say it's incomplete. The throw led him a little too far. It brings up third down. And that is going to do it for this third quarter of action. We'll return with more after this break. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. Back now in Baltimore. It's Dolphin football, but they trail here as we get set for the fourth. Possibly a turning point. Big play coming. This is third and long. Here's Cutler. And he finds Julius Thomas. And he'll be taken down, but not before he gets into enemy territory. That goes for a gain of 31. They'll look to throw. And he checks this one down to Williams. And the stop here will come at the 38-yard line. It'll be a gain of eight yards, and that'll make this a second down. He's back to throw. And he gets his down inside the 35 before going out of bounds. Five yards is the pickup there as that extends this drive. Working the sideline there. Good route, good catch. First down, and he gets out of bounds. Yeah, you have to like the play calling because you have to run some guys down the middle of the field to draw some of the defenders away. They can't just let them guard the sideline exclusively. That's how it's going to work. Sidelines and incompletions to use the clock. Offense comes to the line now, first and ten. Let's go. Green, 39. Back to throw. To the right side here, the tight end, Thomas. And brought down, but not before they're inside the 25. The Dolphin passing game rolling here. They've got another first down. Back to throw. And this is caught at the eight. And eventually brought down, but it's near the five at the six. Another nice gain, 16 yards there at a first down again. He'll look to throw, and it's caught. It's a touchdown. So they rally here in the final minute, and they're an extra point away from tying this game. So getting the big touchdown they needed late in the fourth, now what do you do? You conservative and just tie it up? No, I think you put your practice into game situation. Go as fast as possible. You already have your play call ready to go. Go for two and decide it right now. And now a critical extra point attempt here. And we are tied here in the fourth quarter. So
So that drive takes him down the field in eight plays. And it winds up in six points for the Dolphins. Set to go now with the kickoff. These two teams all even again as we continue in this wild fourth quarter. Let's field it a few yards into the end zone. And he'll probably wish he'd reconsidered here. It will cost him 10 yards as he's down at the 15. Well, conventional football, football 101, tells us if you don't get it back to the 20-yard line on a kickoff return, that's a disappointment. But some of these team special teams coaches, with approval by the head coach, they give them full authority to go ahead and bring it out and try to be aggressive. Almost what we call the green light, red light theory. Green light means go, red light means stop. Looks like he had green on that play. Well, time not on their side here. In fact, a lot going against them. They do have a small glimmer of hope. No one likes to play extra football. They want to go for the win right now. They begin here with a run by West. And he'll go down after losing yardage at the 10. So a loss of five, and it'll be second down. I think there's one element that just keeps increasing on defense in the NFL, and that's speed. They want it at every position, and we just saw there some linebackers who can go sideline to sideline, run past that trash, go past people, and make tackles near the sidelines. Not only near the sideline, but also in the backfield there for the loss. On the ground, it's West again. Showed a good move, but quickly corralled just beyond the 10-yard line. Just a yard on the gain there, and that leaves him with 14 yards still to go on third down. blows and we need some extra time here to decide who will be the victor 60 minutes just not enough some days to decide who's going to win the game it's a little teaching moment here overtime rules remind us how this goes partner Okay, so in the past, we had sudden death. First team to score wins, but no longer. Now, if the team receives the ball, scores a touchdown, they win the game. If they kick a field goal, though, or don't score, the other team gets a possession. And after both teams get a possession, then we're into sudden death. First team to score wins the game. So we're right back where we started, all even as the kick's away. That'll be taken in the end zone. And no run back here. This will be a touchback, and it comes out to the 25-yard line. Out comes the Dolphin offense now as they get set to take over here, except for their first drive here in overtime. And this is where the crowd can really become a factor. They've had to battle it all day, but I know what you're saying. In overtime, that gets doubled, doesn't it? At least, because now the crowd really wants to be involved and help their team, and that first drive can dictate the whole thing because they know if this team takes it downfield and scores a touchdown, it's game over. It's been loud in here so far. This is a Jai. And not a whole lot doing there as he'll get it up to about the 28-yard line. Give him three on first down. It'll set up a second and seven. Short gain there to start overtime. Almost a tester play, wasn't it? Wanted to see if the guys on defense were going to fit the gaps the correct way because we're in overtime. 
So it's not just physical tiredness out there, right? Mentally, are you still doing what you're supposed to do? And they were up to the task on that play. And certainly fatigue on both sides of the football. And brought down, but not before reaching the 45-yard line. And now before this first down play, we're going to get a timeout here. They'll be left with just one remaining here at OT. And we are back here. I'm Brandon Gaughan alongside Charles Davis. So the offense takes a timeout. And now we're set to get going. First down and 10 now for the offensive group. First throw in overtime now for Cutler. Over the middle, and it's incomplete. Devontae Parker was the intended receiver, and that'll bring up second down. Kind of surprised they accept the penalty. The only thing that comes to mind for me is they want to move them back five yards because they feel good about their defense. But in most situations, you take the down. <laughs> that's, that's what counts more. Looking to jam the receivers at the line here. Press coverage look defensively. They run with Ajayi. And he's got it up over the 40 to the 41. Call it a six-yard gain. Still plenty of work to do coming up. Third and 14. Frustrating for a defense, energizing for an offense. Finding a way to create that type of yardage in your running game, that'll make the guys carrying the ball very, very happy. The Dolphins on third down. Just one for three thus far. This is third and 14. From the gun, it's Cutler. And he's going to drop this off to Williams, complete. And now running right through it. And he's going to get this down to the 35-yard line. Whistles come in and a timeout. Just eight seconds left in OT. So the offensive unit called the T.O. And now we are ready to resume play. And now a first down following that long gain. Right, here we go. Green, 39. They go play action here on first down. Oh, he's got a man wide open, complete. And he gets this one all the way down inside the 15, just shy of the 10. 23 yards on the play. Fresh set of downs here. Here we go now. Three, 19. Three, 19. Ah! From 
the shotgun. Cutler over the middle and into the hands of his receiver, Landry. And he's brought down just outside of the 10 at the 11. Just a yard on the catch there. It'll be second and nine. When you see zone defense and you know you've got a drag route on as your primary call, you've got to be really careful as a passer about how far you let your guy go because he might wander into some tough coverage. So what will they do on the ground through the air? Let's see. Second and nine. To throw again is Cutler. This will be caught at about the six. And the stop will come inside the five at the four. The reception good for seven. It's third down. In recent years, the slot receivers really gained stature in the NFL because they could do so many things. Yes, they can line up wide like your normal wide receiver, but to have that kind of courage and toughness to run routes in the middle of the field and become dependable targets for their quarterbacks and move the sticks, those guys are worth their weight in gold. Third and two, now Cutler. That's caught, it's Thomas. And he'll take this into the end zone for a Dolphins touchdown. A partner, great game that we got to see and making it extra special. Not only did I get four quarters with you in this one, I got some overtime, a little whipped cream on top. Look at you, trying to make this whole thing palatable. I just want you to pay for my meal later. And you really just wanted four quarters, what you wanted. But how much fun was that? We had that type of a game where we got us to overtime, and then we get the dramatic ending to finish things off as well. What a game. So that'll do it for us, for my partner, Charles Davis, and all the hard-working men and women on our crew. I'm Brandon Gaughan. You've been watching the NFL right here on EA Sports.